Hey guys, welcome back to Magnificent Creation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon. You'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Today I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful flowers and leaves. For this project I used the clay which I made in my previous video. If you're interested in making your own homemade soft clay, the link is in the description box below. So go check it out, it's super easy to make. Without further intro, let's get into today's project. I'm starting off with the leaves. Take a small amount of clay. Remember to keep the rest of the clay in an airtight container or a bag. Before you start doing anything with your clay, you need to knead the clay until it becomes soft. Once the clay is soft, you can go ahead and roll it out and make a long strand. Now, cut the strands into a smaller pieces with the blunt knife. Flatten out these smaller pieces with the help of roller or you can even use your fingers. Here I'm just using a ruler and pressing it down. To add in more details, I'm just using a toothpick. You could use a proper cutter, but I'm just going with the materials which will be available at home. Let the leaves dry for a while. Once they are dried, you'll end up with this result. Now let's go ahead and make some flowers. For the flower, I have taken pink color clay. Before you work with this clay, you need to knead the clay until it becomes soft. You can do a teardrop test as well. Now, roll out the clay into a strand, the same way we did for the leaf. Cut this strand with a blunt knife into a smaller pieces. While cutting out the strand, don't worry about the sizes, cause each petal will be in different size. So you could just cut however you want. Here I'm just using a ruler to flatten out these pieces. These are going to be the petals of the flower. I'm going to make a bigger flower, so I'll be using lots of petals. Once you've flattened out all the petals, you could just check them. If the petals are still thick, you could just use your fingers and even it out. Now let's move towards the arranging of the petals. Take any one petal and roll that petal into a spiral shape. This bud is going to be at the center of the flower. Inner petals will be really small. So if you have a big petal, you could just cut the petal in half. I'm placing these two small petals on the right side and left side of the bud. Now you could just go ahead and add on the petals one after the other. For the proper attachment, I'm pushing the petals inwards at the bottom. Once you've completed arranging all the petals, it looks very good. To get the flat surface at the bottom of the flower, I'm using a scissor and I'm cutting it. 
now I'll have a smooth surface and it will be easier to paste the flower. Here's a small recap of making another small flower. For smaller flower, you'll be needing less petals. If you want to increase the size of your flower, you can always add on extra petals. Once you are done making the flower, keep it aside until it dries completely. Once the flower has dried completely, it will not lose its shape. As you can see, I am dropping the flower at a certain height. It has not lost its form. The flowers and leaves have dried up completely. I am happy with the result. They all look so good. I'll be placing these flowers and leaves on a bottle. Here I'm using a beer bottle. You could use any bottle which is available at home. And I'm using black color enamel paint to cover up the entire surface of the bottle. For painting, I'm using a flat paintbrush. Once you've completed painting the bottle, keep it outside so that it dries completely. For pasting the flower, I'm using hot glue. Apply some glue at the back side of your flower and paste the flower on the bottle. For pasting the flower and leaves, you can even use super glue or PVA glue. If you are using PVA glue, you need to wait for a while until it dries. You can paste the flowers and leaves as per your wish. You can come up with your own creative ideas. If you want a shiny effect, you can add a clear coat of varnish. As I've mentioned in the previous of this video, I've used homemade clay for this project. If you're interested in making your own homemade clay, the link is in the description box below. So go check that out as well. Do try this video and if you do, share the images with me. All my social media links are in the description box below. I would love to see how it turned out for you at the end. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want me to do in the upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, share with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. You'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss it. See you guys in the upcoming videos, stay tuned and take care.